Terry Sullivan here with another how to kick ass at sales.com tip of the day and today is all about a blown sales deal via text. So the other day I saw a sales professional put a text up, a screenshot of something that had happened in a transaction. And text is a great way to close deals and someone was actually asking me that the other day. What's the best way to correspond with someone? Is it text? Is it phone? Is it email? What is it? And it's the one that they use. That's the end of the day. But you can get a lot done with text. I find that really effective in getting people, most people respond to text pretty fast. So. He got this text from a person that had come in and looked at some different motorcycles and this person said they were ready to basically come in. He's like, I want to, uh, I think I'm pretty sure that I want to get X motorcycle. I can't remember what it is. He goes, he goes, okay, when do you want to buy it? And the person's like, I'm not really sure. I'm looking at different dealers. And he's like, so you want to buy it tomorrow? So what happened here? And then this person, the sales professional, blamed it all on that person. He's saying these, these people are crazy, they don't wanna buy, they give you all kinds of hassle and everything like that. So here's how he blew that deal. Number one is he refused to take responsibility. If you wanna be an excellent sales professional, you have to take responsibility. Number two is he went straight for the kill. What he did there is the equivalent to some girl that he met texting him and then asking her to marry him right away. That was basically what he was doing. So from there, what he should have done in an effective way, just being like, okay, what other kind of information do you need to move forward? Or specifically, what I would have done in that situation is actually tell the guy to come in and say, yeah, come on in. Let's do a test drive with this. Get him on it. Get him using it. Get him to fall in love with that product, get his hands on it, take some pictures of it, of him with it, and, and just on his phone, send it to his girlfriend, whatever it may be, right? And really get him emotionally involved there, and then go in for the sale, and really just assume the sale from there, and do everything like that. Make sure he has all the other questions answered, because clearly, he was showing some buy, buying signals, but he wasn't completely sold or closed, right? People hate to be sold, which was what he was doing, but they love to be closed. And once they've bought that car or that motorcycle or whatever, that's when they're the happiest, right? So that is the name of the game there. Don't go in for the kill right away. When they're showing a buying signal, just don't be like, when we gotta buy this, no. Tell them to come in, have a face-to-face -face conversation, get them to start using the product and their service a little bit, a little bit of feel, ask them a few questions, figure out what's going on, what else they need, and then get the deal done. So this is Kerry Sullivan with another How to Kick Ass Sales.com tip of the day, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.